Okay, now here we have a French violin. Um, I just finished a new modified chin rest. Um, most chin rests, you'll see they come way up high like this. Um, and, and they're just a lot, there's a lot of wood there that doesn't need to be there. This just looks much nicer, smaller, um, new end pin, new gut, new tail piece, uh, four new Ava Parazzi strings, new, uh, bridge that weighs 2.1 grams and four new pegs. Um, Everything is uh, mother of pearl with gold inlay in the pegs and the tailpiece and the in pen with gold bracket on your chin rest. This is a rosewood chin rest. Um, there is a label inside. Not sure what it says. Um, I have photos of that. It's got, it must be French or something. This is a French violin. Um, you, you look at the heel here, this piece right here. Um, you'll see it's shaped rather unique. Um, you don't see it. I've never seen one like that before in the 18 years or so that I've been working on violins. Um, this violin does not have purfling. Uh, it is pinned there, and it is also pinned... Um, Underneath the bracket, uh, you just can't see the you just can't see it because of the bracket. Um, one piece back um, on the uh, top, there is a crack repair here and a crack repair here. Um, I think there was one over here somewhere too. Um, oh, and there's a little one right here. Um, and there's another one here. I've got pictures of the inside um, with cleats. All the cracks are repaired with cleats and everything. So you can see the sides. Looks good. Um, fair flame on the sides. Um, the back's not real flame. There's some. Um, and you can see the uh, there's a piece of Ebony. Somebody else did that. They did that when it was built or whatever. It was a piece of ebony put underneath the fingerboard, um, butting up against the end of the neck. Um, you can see how abrupt that is. It's, this is definitely a French violin, uh, an inexpensive French violin, um, but it's got decent sound. I'm no professional. I taught myself to play. Um, but this will give you an idea of what it sounds like. Um, there we go. It's a very lightweight violin. Without the shoulder rest, it's 14.3 ounces. The violin, the way it sits without the shoulder rest. Sounds like 
the bridge is 2.1 grams. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see that right when the video comes out or not. But the bridge is 2.10 grams. So it's, it's right there. And that's it. There'll be pictures and stuff that you can see on eBay. Um, but that's the violin. Nice violin. Um, that gave you an idea of what it sounded like. So, that's that. Um, take a look at my other videos. I've got many, 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 hundreds, over well over 140 videos on YouTube. Not all of them are violin. Some of them are some other things. Um, but check them out. And uh, thanks for watching.